Today, I have a working Coca-Cola vending machine in Minecraft. Just like in real life, you can put in the coin and push some buttons, and it will give you a fresh, cold can of Coca-Cola. Before we begin, if you want to see more creations just like this, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell. Alright, so we have a huge replica of a normal vending machine in Minecraft. There are 5 shelves fully stocked with cans of Coke. The red ones are regular and the grey ones are the diet versions. To the right, there are buttons that correspond to letters and numbers, which determine the row and column of whichever drink you want. So let's give it a try. The currency for this machine will be in the form of pigs and there's actually an interesting reason behind this, which I'll get to in a minute. I'm going to go for a red C right there which is on the second row and is 2 from the left. So I would punch in B2 in the machine. Finally, we can hit this button to begin the vending process. So there's a giant rod moving the can holder to its correct shelf. Then the rod moves to the right to grab the drink of your choice. And finally, it will bring the drink behind this glass door and go back to its default position. Using this button, we can open this door and pick up our drink. As you can see, we now have a delicious bottle of coke in our inventory, which we can use to hydrate. Now you might be wondering, can we trick the machine by putting in something else such as a zombie? Well, let's try it. Just like a real life vending machine, any token that is not the desired currency will be rejected through the return slot. We can test this out for other types of mobs and note that some of them are too big to even fit in the coin slot. Let's go for one more drink. This time I'll grab a diet coke and I'll think I'll go for an O, 4 from the top and 3 from the left. So we can put in a pig in the coin slot and punch in D3. Then we can sit back until the machine does its magic and delivers our drink. Now let's take a look at what's going on inside this gigantic machine. Let's work our way through the coin slot all the way to the bottom. After inserting a pig, it is blocked by a piston which is released after hitting the enter button. Then a dispenser will release water and the pig should successfully cross the gap. However, most other mobs cannot cross and will fall to a platform right under the hole. There, flowing water will guide the mob to the return slot as you saw a couple moments ago. But once a pig crosses the gap, it will walk all the way to the edge and step on a pressure plate for the machine to begin vending. After that, it will fall off the edge and will be guided to a compartment at the back. We can access this through an iron door and use our pigs for food, decoration, or whatever else you can think of. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks for watching.